Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lily Works. And today we have a what sold over the weekend. I have all my labels here for you guys. Um, we have a lot of jewelry, some shoes and belts and things like that going out this weekend. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. My name is Rachel and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom, part-time reseller. And I do a lot of jewelry and shoes and accessories. So if that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have not already liked this video, you know what to do. And you guys, raise your hand if you are having slow sales this summer. Oh, thank God I, um, before the weekend, I had some really high shoe sales um, because yeah, I was like, this is just, I've had zero Poshmark sales, zero Etsy sales, which is, which is a thing. It is so annoying. <laughs> so let's go pull some orders. All right, here are the jewelry sales. Um, and one is directly from one of the videos. So yay, from one of my YouTube videos. Okay. So let's just get into this bundle. This one was on Mercari. Yay. Mercari's still working on their bundling situation because it's not super um, intuitive yet. But what you do is you add your items to the cart and then you can make an offer on the bundle and then Mercari combines shipping. But this person bought this stunning. This is like faux grippois. Um, mogul style type glorious jeweled um, cabochon <laughs> bracelet like yes and so I think that this looks very high-end um, high fashion vintage bracelet so I did price this one kind of high I can't remember what I priced it at but I did accept an offer of $40 on this bundle and then this one I just listed I think I picked this one up from the antique store um, back when I would sort through the big bin and get jewelry for like 50 cents to a dollar um, or even less <laughs> when they would do like buy 20 items for like two bucks like type of a sale. Um, but anyways, this is like a long 70s chain uh, necklace, um, pendant necklace. So my cost of goods was around 250 for those. And this one came in the high bid a lot for about a dollar fifty. I've had this elephant brooch forever. Not really sure if this is considered trunk up for luck. If you find elephants with their trunk up, you can definitely use that as like a lucky elephant title. Um, and then this one again is like a, I don't know, again, like a mogul style, Middle Eastern, um, not marked. So this one is just black enamel sold for $7.99 on eBay. And I paid about a dollar on sh um, a shop good a lot. I love selling coin uh, jewelry. It does pretty well. This is like a coin dangle. These are not genuine coins, but they are um, like Greek or Roman type ancient coins. This set of earrings sold for $14.99 and I got this one in the high bid auction as well for about $1.50. This is a new, um, new with tags J. Crew stretch bracelet. I don't really sell a lot of stretch bracelets, but obviously this one was new, never worn. Stretch is still great. The two dots underneath the J. Crew means it's from the J. Crew factory, but still really high quality. And J. Crew is future vintage. They make their costume pieces um, really, really um, nicely with well, with high quality materials. So those are going to stand the test of time for a long time. Sold for $19.99, and I got that one in a shop go to a lot for less than a dollar. This glorious one, I got more, more and more excited the more I researched about this. So I grabbed it because I didn't know what it was. On the back, there's a little cartouche that says um, "You Germany US Zone or something along those lines. So if you guys go back to the video, I will have um, it uh, popped up in the corner. But I picked this up from the antique store for $10 and I was like, is this vintage? Because it's so um, nicely preserved. <laughs> it is in excellent condition that it, 
I was like, it can't be vintage, but then it has the AB coating and then this like adjustable thing kind of looks vintage. And then it said like US German zone. I was like, is this West Germany? So if you want to go back to the video to learn more about this, super interesting about the US zone in Germany shortly after World War II, after the Nazis were defeated and they made items. So this was one of the items they sold right from a YouTube video for $55. Now I had this listed on eBay for $99 and I already had two people watching. So if you guys want to buy anything from my videos, I'm definitely giving subscriber discounts uh, for any of my items. And yeah, so $10 into $55 and we got a great learning experience, learning lesson, um, tuition for this ring. And it's adjustable. Okay. So this is another bundle that went out. This one's from eBay. And this person literally, they just bought um, every, all these earrings with shipping. So they purchased this, purchased that all separately. And so what I ended up doing is combining and then refunding shipping. E um, bundling on eBay is not really easy either. Bundling on Poshmark is the easiest if you ever want to get a bundle deal. It's just really easy. You just add it to a bundle and then you can send an offer. eBay, it's a little bit more difficult because um, the whole like invoicing thing and refunding thing is not as easy. But um, let's just get into what's sold. So these I got from Hybid. These are some highly textured three-dimensional 1960s Aurora Borealis fun clip-on earrings, not marked. These are some fun neon enamel 1980s dangle, fun retro, I think I might have said like wearing to a roller rink or a skate park or something like that, like right, so fun. These sold, these ones sold for $14.99, these sold for $19.99. And then the black cha-cha, which where the beads are clustered and they can kind of shake a little bit, that's what I call cha-cha. Um, they are also unmarked and these are also clip-ons sold for $14.99 and then she accepted an offer for these gold retro ball dangles and these are also clip-on unmarked but super fun. I can see these being 1960s as well, maybe 1970s, but um, those sold for $13. So altogether it was $62.97 and my cost of goods was around $4.50. This just spoke to me. I love it. It is a Rivoli. So it's like pointed up and that gives it a lot of beautiful sparkle. I got this from the antique store for $12. Yes, I did pay up for this one, but there, there was just something really special about it. And it's also patriotic. So that gives it um, a little bit more keywords. This is prong set rhinestones in really excellent condition. Not marked, but you can just tell that it is a high quality piece. It is foiled back rhinestone and um, just in time for 4th of July coming up, sold for $44. This one I undersold, but that's okay. Um, this is actually an unmarked MMA brooch, which is Metro Metropolitan Museum of Arts. Um, I Google lensed it and that's what it came up as, as an unmarked MMA brooch. And it's really high quality. If you guys have any MMA pieces yourself, you know like that it is made with high quality materials and very collectible. This one sold for 12 and I got that one in a high bid for 150. And then these are some turquoise chip. So you can see they're all, um, uh, com what is it? Composited <laughs> something <laughs> together in resin. Um, the turquoise chips, I think I tested these and they were not sterling. I think they might be marked on the back, something. I don't know. But these are really sweet Southwestern. Sold for $14.99 and I picked them up in a shop Goodwill lot. So there is jewelry and we can go grab some shoes. Hey, we have two pairs of shoes going out. Yay. <laughs> Still selling shoes. And then also like my belts have been getting really low as well. Like this used to be really full and 
Um, yeah, my belts are getting low as well because I haven't been listing and I've just been listing jewelry, as I say, every single week. And then my inventory for shoes has been getting so low that I completely took one out and I might put like a um, a jewelry repair station right there. And uh, yeah, just right now we're in the what brings me joy uh, part of my life. <laughs> and my business. So jewelry and listing jewelry is uh, really nice. And then also I'm doing homeschooling during the summer just so I can keep the traction going and that if we need to take a break every once in a while throughout the school year, we still have enough of the days in. So um, yeah, reselling while homeschooling three young young, young children is a challenge. So jewelry is really working for us right now. Okay. So these are some Vince Camuto shoes in excellent condition. Look at how beautiful these are. Perfect for spring, summer. Um, Vince Camuto is usually a brand I really like to sell, but these took forever because they had free shipping on it and they didn't even show up in my Vendu. So they weren't e were not even cross posted. Like I'm not even sure how these sold under the radar. I don't even know. But these sold for $22.50 and... Um, I paid $8.30 shipping, making my earnings $14.20, and I got them um, at the Goodwill bins for around two. Now, these came in that new without tags box. I have a couple videos on that. Um, I guess it's like a, whole, not wholesale, but like where you can buy um, uh, shoes and things like that, more of like a liquidation type thing. And I actually really liked it because, um, these were new with tags. So my cost, well, new without tags, but you can see that the tag was there. Um, these are by the brand G Ox, which is not, um, like really well known, definitely not well known in the United States, but it is like a really nice high end brand with really nice materials. So I did take a best offer for $50 on these men's boots. So lovely. And um, I paid around $16.20 per pair of shoes that I did list. And I did get like, let me see. I don't know. But I I got like a couple new born tall boots. And I, can't, I don't even know where they are. But um, that new without tags um, website did not really disappoint me. So yeah, those are my two uh, sales for shoes. And then let's get the one belt. Right, here is here is the belt that um sold. So this is an Eddie Bauer belt. Look at that lovely tooled leather detail. I probably could have done better showing off that detail to be honest, but I'm glad this sold. I got this from the Goodwill bins for around 50 cents. Sold for $16, and this is going first class in a small padded mailer. Really easy to ship, really easy to list, and I definitely am going to continue selling belts. Um, love it, and I need to up my inventory a little bit for that. So that is my belts. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get these packages shipped up. Um, I have my Pemberley right here. <laughs> she is going to be four next month. Yay! It's going to be my birthday. Yes, it's going to be her birthday. And um, I have like this like cooler thing. It's right by my feet, but I have it on auction, you guys. So that's going to be something new. So that it already has one bid. I'll a, put fly, it up on... a fly! Wow, a fly. Um, that I'm going to just pop on the screen for you guys because that's going to sell today. That is something that's selling are you gonna... today. And this is a bolo if you are, um, fly. if you sell hard goods. I'm and yeah. Can... Do you want to, do you want to say anything? Yeah. What do you want to say? I love you. Hmm. I love you. Wow. Okay. All right. So if you like this video, oh, here comes another child. <laughs> They're supposed to be watching a movie. That's that's the plan. Um, hey, mommy, I'm balancing on the ball. 
Wow. All right. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit the subscribe button down below and make sure to leave me a comment down below. And <laughs> if you're not already joined the Facebook group page, join the Facebook group page and I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure you're out there thrifting so you can live generously. Everyone say bye. Bye.